with a turbo four-cylinder Ford Mustang now a real thing, we're moved to re-examine the genre of the intra-level muscle car, long associated with secretarial pools and rental calots. And a discussion today, the V6-powered Dodge Challenger SXT, sporting a new 8-speed transmission and a redesigned interior. Is it still more show than go? It's certainly still got show. For 2015, Dodge adds 1971 cues to the basic 1970 styling theme, including its split-port grille inserts and quad-tail lamp treatment. Other updates include headlamps with stern-looking lead halo rings and smoother front and rear fascias. If the Challenger's body changes only a little, an utter transformation occurs inside. Stylists placed a 1971 Challenger dashboard in the studio during the design process, and its influence can be found in the sweet, conical gauges with hidden needles and classic fonts. But, overall, this is a modern space, with strong forms soft touch panels, and real aluminium trim. The 3.6-litre V6 is unchanged, but the new ZF 8-speed automatic is a massive improvement, exploiting all of the engine's 305 horsepower and 268 pound-feet of torque while helping to raise fuel economy from 18 miles per gallon city 27 mpg highway to 1930. 0 to 60 acceleration drops a bit from 6.4 seconds to a respectable, if not quit a muscle car worthy 6.2. The weighty Challenger trails its V6 powered competitors by about a second. The Challenger's pleasant new interior manages to avoid hackneyed retroness despite its throwback gauges. So the 8 speed auto doesn't bring much in the way of performance improvements, but it is a nice piece with smooth decisive shifts and predictive downshifting in sport mode. Steering wheel paddles come with the Super Track Pack option $695, which also brings 20-inch wheels, a more button, a down suspension, revised steering, dual piston front brake calipers around larger 13.6-inch front rotors, and Dodge Performance apps. Hustling around Portland International Raceway, the SXT with the Super Track Pack could easily hang with the 485 horsepower Challenger SRT 392 in the kinkier sections thanks to communicative steering, Goodyear summer tires, strong brakes, and roughly 300 less pounds, most of them coming off the front axle. With the powertrain settings in sport, the 8 speed always found the power band's sweet spot allowing us to simply leave it in drive and still post impressive lap times. On the road, the V6 proves competent and unobtrusive, though the handling never lets you forget that the Challenger is essentially a Charger sedan with a few less inches in the middle. Dive into a tight corner and the car lists it turn in, finds its legs, then stabilizes with some throttle. The grip is there, but it drives big. Classic muscle car stuff. And yet? The Challenger S16 needs to be a bit quicker, and sound meaner, for us to consider it a true muscle car. That would help justify our loaded SXD plus test car's $37,255 price tag. But, especially with the Super Track Pack option, the V6 Challenger is getting closer.